Why are people flying off to Chagau all the time? So I could imagine living here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? No more Chagau. <laughs> this is where we need to be. Good morning guys, today our adventure here in the Ilocos region continues. We are actually leaving Lawak today to head up further north. We're going to be visiting Pagutput, the rock formations, and then later on we're going to be heading up into the mountains again to do some more exploring. We're actually going to be staying at an accommodation. I believe the city is called Adam, if I'm, if I'm correct. I have to double check that, but I think it's called Adam and apparently it is disconnected it is off the grid it is no internet signal just relaxation i'm kind of excited for that i'm excited for the fresh air i'm excited for the silence the quietness but before we go i'm stopping by the coffee doors i asked our driver to drop me off here before we leave on this trip so i can get coffee ordered for everybody this place is really really cool the place is called coffee dose Very cool baristas have been hooking us up with amazing coffee. How are you guys doing today? I'm good sir. Nice. <laughs> and it's one of the things that really excites me about the Philippines currently because when I first started traveling around here, specialty coffee was hard to find, especially when you were traveling around the provinces. The only kind of coffee I could get was Starbucks in some places, Bose coffee in other places, and then free and one in most places. But now more and more traveling around the Philippines in the provinces, you discover these impeccably good specialty coffee shops that serve up really good coffee. And this is one of those places. And I discovered here they have um, some beans from Expat Roast. So that is my favorite coffee shop in Bali. It's, it's just a very, very cool place. Very nice. And the squad is just pulling up right now. Everybody is urging for coffee. That's good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lawan. Welcome to Coffee Dose. Yes, we're here to get our daily fix of coffee. <laughs> coffee is life. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Morning. How's everybody good morning. doing? Good morning. Good morning. More energy. Good hey, there we go. <laughs> more energy, more passion, <laughs> more footwork. Are you ready? We're going to see. Miss A and So we're going to see some otong and some puki. We like otong and puki puki. Well, that's a very rude question, but yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we have just arrived at the first spot, which is the Kapupu Rawan rock formations here. A white limestone formation that's supposed to be very impressive. And it is impressive. And it is right, right here located close to the EDC windmill farm, which is a $48 million, I'd say like infrastructure project because the electricity is kind of infrastructure. Sadly, can't fly the drone here because of the windmills, but also it's quite windy here, yeah. hence the windmills, so it wouldn't be comfortable to fly the drone anyway. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, are you from the area or on vacation? Uh, on vacation. Vacation. Yeah, vacation. Very nice. Yeah. Welcome to Ilocos Nasha. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look, you look like you're spending a rainy day in London and not uh, adventuring around the Philippines right now. <laughs> Winter, winter clothes. Winter clothing. This is a very cool passage here. Um, clearly not made for tall people, but I always, I always say like in the Philippines, ah, here you go. <laughs> in the Philippines, it's not that easy being so tall because you're constantly banging your head on things. Hello. 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 But yeah, I wanted to say this passage, this walk through here is very cute. Very, very cute. I love how they did it with these little structures to make an opening in the flora. Plants kind of remind me of South Africa. No. Looks like it though. This would be animal cruelty, me sitting on. You know how heavy I am? I'm heavier than that horse. 
they were already uh, able to take people larger than you. <laughs> the, the, the people are gonna be yeah, that guy oh that guy is people are gonna be calling the WWE because I'm I'm abusing the horses. <laughs> That's fine, I'd rather walk. Look at these poor little horses, they're so tiny. The horse is gonna go to an orthopedic doctor after me riding it. It's gonna need a chiropractor. Like the, the horse is thinking to itself, no, not this big guy. <laughs> it's too heavy. This is like riding peanut. <laughs> I mean, actually, that's, that, that is a good size. Good like, size for me, that's right? a good match, yeah. Just imagine how ridiculous it would look me sitting on the horse. <laughs> Yay! It's not as uncomfortable as I thought. Ah. Faster, faster! No, don't, I'm oh, faster. Oh. Faster, faster. Okay, we had a quick walk and we've arrived at the rock formations. You can see them here a little bit behind me and it's so cool. The spot really does remind me of Biri Island in the north of Samar. The rock formations that you can see there, really fantastic. What I love is the wind here is so nice. It kind of reminds me of Cape Town. It's making me miss Cape Town a little bit. If you guys don't know, I grew up in South Africa, so I see South Africa as a second little home to me and Cape Town is one of my favorite places in South Africa to visit and this kind of gives off the same energy, the same vibe, the same cool breeze that you get from there. Love it here, so nice. These rock formations look fantastic. This place is beautiful, isn't it? It's really nice, I've got something to show you. What a shame that we can't fly the drone here. It is Would have been shame. such nice drone shots. Oh. Wow. It is so white. I don't know if you can see it on camera, if it comes out as nicely as it is here, but it's so bright and light and white. Very, very beautiful. Nice and windy, cool. And yeah, Greg just said it correctly. It reminds us very much of the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. <laughs> I was stubborn and now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I guess the only way is to climb back up again. <laughs> and now I'm stuck. You know how heavy I am? I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Even these rocks here with these little holes, a lot of people say it triggers their trypophobia when they see that from Biri Island. Look how clear that water is in there and there's some fish in there as well. So nice, look at that. Yes, finally some action on the vlog. <laughs> That's so cool. That's crazy. Just look at the speed this windmill is turning at. That's insane. I can imagine just putting a camping chair here. Yes. And just watching the view during right? sunset. Sunset here must be phenomenal. I know. Yeah. I know. They said it was so beautiful. Because last time, uh, Mariah from the Poor Travelers came here together with uh, Tour Ilocos Norte uh, and the Tourism Board or the Department of Tourism from Ilocos Norte and they were just saying when they went here during sunset it was a spectacular yeah. view but we've already experienced sunset from way over there right so we have just arrived in Pagutpot at the oh I forgot what the name is I'll, I'll tell you guys the name later we're all just a little bit tired from the drive uh, it's quite a bumpy road to get here but what a beautiful spot 
with an amazing view. I'll show you the view in a little bit, but it's so nice to be back in Pagutput because we really love it. Welcome to Panchan. Look at us. Wow. Look at that. How do you like the view? <laughs> beautiful. Very beautiful, like right? Yeah, so nice. Quick question. Oh, yeah. What is the square root of 144? I don't know. We have juice and ice cream. Margarita? Mulberry juice, sir. Margarita. Fresh juice. Fresh juice from the garden. Looks like sangria. It does. Cheers. Mmm. Very nice. Who's winning? No one else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm winning. <laughs> I found this chair that looks, it looks super uncomfortable, but I sat down and it's quite comfortable. But I was told this is the short version and that actually your feet are supposed to go on here. Now, I don't know. I don't know if that can be right because I kind of feel like if I, I <laughs> It feels like I'm, by, I'm going to the OBGYN. Yeah. This, does, this does not seem right to me. <laughs> I think it's very Ilocana huh? actually. Yeah, a it's a burden chair. Oh, oh. Diba? Oh, oh. Information from Justin and Mariah. Okay, well, then I understand. <laughs> <laughs> We're having like a lot of Filipino, Filipino food. Yes, yeah. finally, finally. Is that uh, pinak bit? No. Yeah, pinak bit. Is that pinak bit? Mm. Okay, let me try the bagnets. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Sarap. up. Sobra. <laughs> mmm. Sobra. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Our real treat is what we have here. Mm. You're being spoiled <laughs> by. Mm. Tour Locos Norte in this restaurant for our lunch on our day three. We have a fish lumpia, we have baguette, we have a salad, we have pinola, we have bakbet, and we were welcomed with the mulberry tea. It's we're so spoiled. Yeah, we're so, so good. Spoiled. <laughs> My parents didn't even spoil me like this. Did you say it's what lumpia? Fish lumpia. Fish lumpia. Interesting. Never had that before. They have uh, cream dory there. Mm. I'm just joking. <laughs> and then here's the uh, pinak bit. Looks very nice. It's very different from the pinak bit in Manila. Alright, let me try the pinak bit. Mm. Mm. Pinak bit is very delicious as well. Really? So good. So good. What do you think of the food? <laughs> Kuya. Chef. How do you like the food? <laughs> Delicious, sir. <laughs> How's the food? Uh, I'm not tasting it yet, but it looks delicious. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, lumpia, I'll try. Actually, I'm quite nervous to try the lumpia. I think I'll let you try the lumpia okay. first. So, this is fish lumpia with tamarind sauce. Get some of the sauce on here. Mm. Oh my god. The tamarind is like sweet and sour. And lumpia wrappers are very, very crispy. 
nice and fatty and the fish is very subtle in there. Mm. If you hadn't told me it's fish, I don't think I would have known. Love, 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 try this. So this is called santan in Tagalog and I believe it's the same here in um, Ilocos. So when we were kids um, and we used to be in the park, we would literally stand in a tree of santan and pick each one of the flowers and sip it. Okay, sip it. Because the inside of it is very sweet. Okay. Try it. You have to pick one that has blue. Like give, this one. Give me one. And then suck it from the bottom? Yeah. Ah. Oh. It's like a little hit of sweetness. Uh -huh. Very nice. Why are you about You have to do it so... Like, yeah, I can taste it. Love, you want ice cream? So we were just, you missed all of that. Yeah. I heard it, I heard it. <laughs> so we were just joking around, greeting Justin happy birthday, and we said, and, and Justin said, oh, where's the cake? And we realized that there's a cake over there because um, the owner of Adams also is celebrating her birthday today, and they heard that it's her birthday, and it's an Ilocana tradition um, to sing that song. Miss A, can you share um, what's the reason for putting the... Hey, it's part of the tradition. It's within the Ilocano song, Pada Pada Kam. So, Pada Pada Kam is... Um, all of us uh, would celebrate with you together. To it's, your it's within the song um, that it says uh, we are giving you this crown of flowers and this bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. And then the, the flower crown. <laughs> you flowers. Yeah. Um, you're the queen of yeah, your birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet naman dito. Salamat. Happy yeah, birthday. <laughs> Extra special treatment for oh your my. birthday. So it's Actually, a tradition talaga in all Ilocano, uh, for all Ilocanos, we, we, we uh, practice this. Even the kids now. Yung parang, we, have, we have to sing that song. I just love how Ilocos Norte and Ilocanos is full of culture. It's full of rich food that you can't find anywhere else and traditions like this that is still honored up to today a lot of culture in it and a lot of practices that is still up kept as it is today you guys saw the Tanok festival yesterday and you saw how a lot of Ilocanos still wear their native clothing a lot of Ilocanos still practice their culture and is proud of their culture and it's just something that we should all be proud of and i'm so happy to be here the mulberry ice cream homegrown from Pansham. wow mulberry which one is better i think equally as good that's very unique so, really yeah so good i'm not huge on ice creams and anything dessert but um i'll try it mm. wow it's good no? it's like a, it's like a less sour type of um Blueberry, mm -hmm. but it reminds me a lot of blueberry. Yeah. It's very nice. Here we have some cassava cake. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, from Laguna. Is that the one that I like? That's like soft and like yes. gooey. Gooey. Ooh, <laughs> nice. So, what flavors are there? Because there's two colors. No, there's no flavor. It's just 
<laughs> ah, so they're both pesticides. Yeah. Well, I'll go for the red one anyway. Look at that. Soft, gooey, lovely and chewy. Mm. It's softer than the one we had last time. Oh, wow, this place is so stunning. So, so beautiful. It's just lovely to explore around here a little bit. Now we're gonna walk through the farm, but I might have to film that on the iPhone. The battery's dying on the camera. Wow, this is nice. Yeah. Wow. This is lovely. Really nice bathroom as well. Beautiful. Wow, just imagine waking up to this in the morning. It's so beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. And then these are our gardens. There's the pineapples, there's the taros, the peas. Amazing. Just the sound of the ocean alone makes me happy. I wow. think, love, we've so just beautiful. found the Hawaii <laughs> of the Philippines. It's so beautiful. Right? I've never seen something like this in the Philippines, honestly. With, with this here and then next to the mountains, this is this 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 is what I what I feel like Hawaii looks like. This is why I keep saying Ilocos Norte is so underrated because there's a lot of good spots in Ilocos Norte and tourism in Ilocos Norte has to be pushed more from mountains to beaches to this view, farmhouses, like all of it, it's so amazing and stunning. So it's like a weed. Yeah. But what do you do with it? Oh, broom. The broom. Oh, this is the, the broom. broom. That we, yeah. This is why this, this is, is the broom. Like the one that we have at home. Yes. Oh. This is why I want to film it. Oh. That's the broom. Oh. Oh. Now I get it. Oh, we have that at home. Yes. Oh. But this is how it starts. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Look at that. Okay, so, so the Kuya was This is it. The actual plant before it's harvested. So this, this is what our brooms are made of. Can you imagine? I can't, I really can't imagine. It's so lush and green and soft right now. And that becomes then the... Well, it's the boat. Yeah. The broom. And we have arrived at the final spot for today. We're checking into Eileen's, nestled here in between the mountains in Ilocos Norte. This beautiful, very, very local spot. So beautiful. It has a pond here with koi and tilapia swimming around. Can't wait to see the rooms. It seems like a very cute spot. And I think the grand finale of today is going to be some fantastic Filipino food that we're going to be feasting on yes, yes, later on. Yes, yes. Yeah. Alright, let's get checked in and then I'll give you guys a quick room tour. I think these rooms are going to be quite unique. Okay, here's our accommodation. Very, very cute. So we have these huts next to each other. And then Shay and Kuya, you need help? <laughs> you enter here. We got our own little porch. And then, welcome to our humble abode. So cute. Nice bed. Very provincial type of accommodation. Yeah, but we have like a full-size bathroom and CR shower with tabo. Oh, and out here's another balcony. Very cute. And then we have this 
stunning view. We need to check where the sunset, uh, the sunrise and sunset is going to be later. But yeah, no AC. It's quite warm now, but I believe that later it's supposed to become a little bit cool. So it's actually there's no there's no need for an AC if it's going to get cold later on. I love the carpentry on these doors. You see, you just close them. And then the lock is this little piece of wood that is perfectly built to fit in there. We have a fly net, so we can leave the doors, uh, the windows wide open. We'll do the same on this side. Again here, take this little thing out. And then you just, oh, this one. Ah, here's another one. Slide this one up. And then <laughs> another one down here. And, oh my God. Here, now, got it. And then this one uh, slides to the side and then we have perfect A flow again. Very nice. So we're just quickly touring the farm now. So as I said that they recently just picked mulberries so it's not likely to find. Well, we found this. We found some. Then the mamang kuni mo mam black. Wow, para talaga siyang Really looks like black uh, blackberry. Black currant. Blueberry. Black currant. Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's crazy. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Eat it. No. <laughs> It starts from green, yes, green and then it turns red and then it turns black. 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 Yeah, that one is ripe. <laughs> ripe. <laughs> this one is ripe. This is so picturesque, unbelievable. Right. They've got everything here. They've got the mountains, the beaches, the yeah. rivers, the falls, all of it. Oh, it's just earlier flying over this river with the drone. So from the mountains, it goes over the river and crosses all the way to the ocean. Flows all the way to the ocean. That's incredible. Doesn't get much fresher than this. Oh, oh my God. So good. Sweet, fresh. Exactly the electrolytes that I needed right now. <laughs> Ah, oh, amazing. <laughs> you love that, don't you? I love coconut water. I know. Did you finish it already? No, you want some? Oh my God, there's so much in there. Oh, nice. Still not finished. Really? Can you believe it? It's like, oh, I got a water belly now. <laughs> but that's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the fun part. You can scrape out the flesh. Contilan. Yeah. Scoop out the fresh wow. meat in there. Mm. That is so refreshing. You don't like those love? No. You're not a fan? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's so delicious. It's sweet. Mm. It's refreshing. It's like nature's nature's pudding. Mm. So good. <laughs> and then look at this view. Look yeah. at this view while eating this. The breeze. Right. I can imagine hanging a hammock here. Why can we waste our time in Manila? <laughs> what are we What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Why Move to not, Ilocos why Norte. Why are we not here? This is where we need to be. Ilocos Norte. Why, why are people flying off to Chagao all the time? Yeah. And it's one hour to fly to Lawag and then an hour to drive here from Lawag Airport. What are you guys doing? Flight is why so much affordable to... as well with Cebu Pacific exactly. Air. It's very accessible. Listen, listen, I don't know why I have to tell you this. I don't know why. But Cebu Pacific, 4 o'clock in the morning at the airport, you're here. At five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, you spend the day adventuring the ocean, the beach, the rivers, mountains. the mountains. Yeah, 
if you're in a rush, you fly home in the evening. You mm -hmm. got a whole day, but I would suggest come here on a Friday, stay the week and fly home on Monday morning. You can fly early on Monday morning, be at the office at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. exactly. Come to Locos Norte. <laughs> come to Locos Norte, <laughs> like no more Shargao. <laughs> no more Burakai. No, it's okay. But good food. Yeah. Can you surf here? Surfing? Good? Yes, sir. But no, no. No season now. What did you say, love? Mm -hmm. So I could imagine living here. <laughs> here, in, here in Hawaii. <laughs> All right, we left Pagutput to drive up the mountains and we arrived in Adam, Adams, Adams. And right now we are going to a traditional wine tasting, local wine. Quite an interesting building. There's a very distinct, um, like, alcoholy scent in here. It's quite interesting. Try this one first. So, what's the uh, alcohol volume on these? I think it's 12%. If I'm not mistaken. 15%. This is gonna be a party. <laughs> now. Yeah, let's try it. Well, anyways, after this is check in. Nice. <laughs> After this is check in, so we can check out. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, everybody, get your happy juice. Ooh, that is nice. It's like a cider. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Oh. You like it? Twelve more of those, please. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't want to try it. Yeah, but the color is very wow. okay, let's try deceiving. More. Yes, more. Yes, more. Okay. You try other. Uh, uh, you try the Rosel. 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 Here we go. Love, you are our bartender. Mango. Yeah. yeah. They have mango? Yeah. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> to good health. Ooh. Oh my god. That is so good. Damn. Thank you. That is so good. Damn. So so good. So good. Like to dress this up with a little bit of French brie. <laughs> get some baguettes, some salami. Very nice. Cheers. Right, cheers. How do you say guys. cheers in Ilocano? Sake. Ooh. Sake. Sake. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You just cheers for the Malaya, but it wasn't long. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, friends. Cheers. Oh, love it. Mmm. Grab it. It's so good. There's a hint of something else in there. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Something like mint, I think. Mm. But not very minty. Mariah keeps like bringing more and more bottles. Smooth. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> so have we tried all already or we just enjoying the Roselle so much that we're like repeating a is this uh, all you can drink? <laughs> I think you haven't tried the vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and calamansi. <laughs> Mariah keeps coming up with new flavors. <laughs> Our favorite so far. 
Uh, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. For the ordinary cat, uh, 150. But the one. Oh. The oh. Crazy how many different flavors they have. Huh? It is crazy. And it's yeah. all distinct and very unique yeah. flavors. It's also not that pricey. Yeah. Imagine a hundred pesos or up to three hundred pesos for a wine. That's that's really cheap, really really affordable. What is going on here? Sunka. What is that? This is a, a Filipino a game. game. Actually, it's Asian. They also have in Malaysia. Uh, okay. I forgot how to call it. Oh. What, is, what is the goal of the game? Okay, uh, you have. Sunog. <laughs> Sunka, bahay sunog. It's like okay, so um, this line is oh, for. Uh, so you have your own line and they have your own house. Okay. So if you cannot put anything here, you're then dead. you're dead. <laughs> it's the turn of the next player. Okay. okay. And you cannot um, like go on an empty spot, right? Ooh. Ah. So <laughs> it is dinner time. Ah, oh, thank God there's no frogs. <laughs> oh. oh, but you like frog meat? No. You've had it before? I had it before and I didn't like it. Really? Okay. Okay, the fourth layer is the organic pig. Oh. They don't eat feed. What a coincidence. That's what Gray calls me. <laughs> so we were just uh, chilling in the, hotel in the hotel room in our little Kubao, Kubo. In our little Kubo, uh, in our little Kubao. We were just chilling in our little Kubo, um, resting, because today was somehow exhausting, right? We didn't do anything inherently like exhausting. The rock formation, true. But I think it's just the, the sun in general got to us a little bit, so we needed a bit of a rest, and now we came out for dinner. We have here some local delicacies, it looks like uh, eggplants, the local organic pork, and this is fish, probably. Oh, and then here we have some greens, uh, uh, the spinach, watercress. Water Very nice. You love watercress, don't yes, you? Yes, I love watercress. Mm. What is that, love? Tilapia. Tilapia. Oh. Is it? That's a very deep Yes, is from Taiwan. So ah. they have the koi pond. Yeah. So the dishes are somewhat like Taiwan. Oh, amazing. You know, Ilocano. Wow. 